Hello, very good morning to you. There are a few bleary eyes in the office this morning following last night's epic lightning display. Those thunderstorms now moving north across Scotland. Sunny skies returning for many today, but not for all. Hot air remains in the east, but actually something a little fresher further west. You can see the thundery rain there just getting out of the way for the far north of Scotland. Some wet weather to come for Shetland and Orkney. Showers for a time for northern and western Scotland in the wake of that weather. One or two showers as well for northwest England, parts of Wales, Northern Ireland as well. And here it will be cloudier and temperatures will be lower, but the heat remains. Eastern Scotland, high 20s, and across eastern England, low 30s. So another hot and sunny day in the east. Cloudier and fresher further west, but the cloud actually start to push westwards again overnight. Clearing skies in many places. There'll still be some patchy low cloud affecting southwest England, parts of western Scotland, Northern Ireland. But for the vast majority, it's clear, it's dry. Certainly a less lively night compared to uh, Tuesday night. Less muggy night, only very small difference actually. Temperatures a degree or so less muggy, but it's still an uncomfortable warm for sleeping. And then exceptional, truly exceptional hot air moves in across much of the country for Thursday. Temperatures skyrocketing from the word go, rising very quickly during the morning across much of England, southern and eastern Scotland, eastern parts of Wales as well. You can see the extent of the sunny skies. There will be some patchy medium cloud that could have an impact on temperatures but the most likely temperatures here on the map are as follows. So 29, 30 Celsius across of Scotland into much of England. We're into the 30s, mid to high 30s across the heart of England and 39, the headline figure there for London. Now that would clearly make it the hottest July day on record. And there's a 60% chance now we think that it will be the hottest day on record. But these things are never a done deal until they happen. And of course, there will be some cloud floating around that could play a part in affecting those temperatures. Whatever the number will end up being, it's certainly going to be oppressively hot and humid, dangerous heat for vulnerable parts of society. Now, one area that escapes the heat will be West Wales, the far southwest, Northern Ireland as well. Here, temperatures a little closer to average. We've already got a cold front moving in. And that will spark some very lively showers and thunderstorms across central and eastern Britain Thursday night and into Friday. And then it slows down as it bumps into that heat. So sunny skies once any early showers clear away for East Anglia and the southeast first thing Friday. The sunny spells breaking out further west as well. But then we're following this cold front eastwards and it's likely to be a line of heavy thundery rain. It doesn't quite reach East Anglia in time to clear the intense heat. So here, another day in which temperatures reach the low, possibly mid 30s on Friday. But further west, we're back to around average for the time of year. So high teens, low 20s. So lots going on over the next few days. And of course, you can keep up to date with all the latest thoughts on uh, Thursday's exceptional record breaking heat. And you can follow any records as they get broken uh, by following us on social media. We will keep you updated via Twitter, YouTube and Facebook. Bye-bye.